Cells that have two matching sets of chromosomes are referred to as diploid cells. Uh, the bodies of most eukaryotic know, organisms, clung, such as humans, clung, are made up clung, of diploid yeah, cells. Yeah, yeah. When a single cell diploid organism reproduces asexually via mitosis and cellular division, the offspring is assured of having diploid cells because the process of mitosis and cellular division produces cells genetically identical to the parent and each other. Thus, a diploid cell reproducing through mitosis will always produce two diploid cells identical to the parent. But what if multicellular diploid organisms produced sex gametes, such as eggs and sperm, through mitosis, just as they produce the rest of their cells? If two such gametes joined, the zygote formed would have four copies of each homologous chromosome. The next generation of zygotes would have eight copies, the next 16, and so on, each succeeding generation having double the number of chromosomes of the preceding one until finally the number of chromosomes in the cells of each organism would become virtually infinite. Thus, in order for diploid organisms to reproduce sexually, they must produce sex gametes that have just a single copy of each homologous chromosome, so that the zygotes they produce are merely diploid like the parents. Cells like sex gametes, which have a single copy of each homologous chromosome in their nucleus, are referred to as haploid.